Hello everyone, this is Selin from the Experience Research Lab. Today I'll talk about the interviewing technique most frequently used for data collection in primary quantitative research. Papi, kapi, kati, or kawi. Papi or paper and pencil interviewing is the most suitable interviewing technique for researchers working in rural areas, especially those without a landline or network connection. The respondents may receive the questionnaires via mailbox or through a career. The questionnaires usually come with a paid reply, making this technique considerably costly. The cost, however, is not only the amount of money for questionnaire distribution and collection, but also the time required for data collection and manual input from the paper to the data processing software. Despite the amount of money and time spent on paper and pencil interviewing, the questionnaires often end up in the mailbox or on the tables. To increase the response rate, researchers will consider hiring a field worker or market research interviewer to approach the respondents in person and interview them on site. This is called CAPI or Computer Assisted Personal Interviewing. With CAPI, professional market research interviewers can get real-time responses from a relevant sample. They ask the question verbatim to ensure consistency and help observe the situations and probe for more details. Since responses and related information go straight to the computer, Copy saves a lot of time. Like qualitative research, quantitative research is susceptible to interviewer bias. This problem is also common in surveys using questionnaires. Considering the risk posed by the interviewer's physical appearance and facial expressions, researchers may alternatively employ CATI or computer-assisted telephone interviewing. These interviewing techniques allows interviewers to call respondents regardless of the locations, at home or on the go. Like in CAPI, trained telephone interviewers also ask the questions verbatim. Whenever required, they can clarify and probe for more details. CATI records interviews including the questions and responses into the system. This way, researchers can save time and improve performance through real-time monitoring and regular evaluation. In the digital era like today, KAWI or Computer Assisted Web Interviewing has been the most practical interviewing technique. Researchers can distribute the questionnaires via email, messaging app, or social media platform. Applicable on web-based or mobile apps, KAWI offers researchers the flexibility to reach out to respondents anywhere, anytime, with or without an interviewer. KAWI accommodates multimedia files from text to videos, enabling researchers to interview their respondents with an interactive and highly responsive questionnaire. Another plus point that drives the increasing application of KAWI is that it records the respondents' geodemographics and behaviors, including the eye movements, number of clicks, and scrolls. It also records the technical specifications such as traffic sources, mediums, operating systems, IP addresses, and browsers. With such functionality, KAWI helps researchers identify the respondents and prevent the ineligible ones from participating or giving false responses. Next time, I will explain how to design a questionnaire used in a survey. Today, I will finish here. Thank you for being with me. For more insights into research, secondary or primary, qualitative or quantitative, please subscribe, listen, and watch. Our content is available in text, audio, and video format. See you in the other videos, and cheers!